So I have a lot today and I think I'm going to break it up into more than one video. Maybe I'll post one today, one another day. So uh, I have therapy today. I go to a therapist. We're actually doing telehealth because I am having a hard time leaving my house to get to her. I'm aware that it's a mental thing. It's my anxiety. And with her, it's a non-judgmental zone. It's it's pretty beautiful. She's an amazingly beautiful person, and I'm very lucky, and I'm very grateful that I had found her. Um, originally, she did an intake on Julian for his therapist, and I just I just got very lucky. So one of the things I did talk to her about was losing my shit. So, you know, we're talking and we're talking and sometimes I, I ramble because I have so many thoughts in my head. And um, something, something that I want to talk about, and I did this a video, something like this before on my channel, and I since deleted it because I deleted a lot of videos that were on my channel previously. So uh, the other night, I totally lost my shit with Julian, and I don't know, it's, it's like I had verbal diarrhea, where I just couldn't shut up. In my head, I was like, okay, your goal is to give him a childhood he never has to heal from. Your goal is to never be this hysterical woman. And... It was one thing after the other, after the other, the chore chart that no one's doing, but everyone asks for more chores and they're not even doing the basic ones that they have. Um, three dogs that needed to go outside weren't put outside and shit all over our living room floor. Uh, dishes that aren't done, laundry that's not done, floors that are not cleaned aside from the shit floor, um, poop pickup that's not done outside. Laundry. Did I say laundry again? Because that one really pissed me off. So I'm going through everything and I'm like, and then I get that sarcastic assholeness. Guess I'm the only one that knows how to do the dishes. Guess I'm the only one that can smell how disgusting it is in here. Not knowing there was like poop. Three dogs. And I'm like, I guess no one smell. Julian's the only one home and me. Guess I'm the only one that smells anything. And I could see his face like, it's how I used to feel when I knew something was coming down on me. And on top of that, and mom, if you're watching this, because I know sometimes you see my videos, they pop up, and I know, whatever. Um, nothing is meant by this. But living here with my mom sometimes is very anxiety full for me. Uh, when I see things are a mess and I know that she's going to come home and I just, I'm 50 and I don't like getting yelled at like I'm 12. And sometimes that might trickle down a little, that anxiety of, oh my gosh, she's going to come home and she's going to see this and she's going to see that. She already doesn't really care for the dogs and blah, 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 blah. So as I'm doing it, I'm like, I go by the living room and I see all this shit and I'm like, dude. Like, are you kidding me that you're here, the shit's here, and you don't smell it, you don't see it, you don't, and I lost it. I lost it. And I'm not going to say that I was yelling, but I was super loud. Um, I didn't, you know, I, I there were no, I lost my shit, but it wasn't like I was like, oh, you're fucking this, you're there. It was none of that. There was no name calling, it was no nastiness, but I could not control how pissed off I was. Julian went around, he cleaned up the pool. Oh, I'll clean it. You think? Did you think that after all this, I was going to fucking clean it when you're sitting right here with the dogs? So he cleaned it, then he wants the Swiffer so that he can go over the one that stuck because it was stepped on. And I'm like, so you're going to get the Swiffer, you're going to wet it, and you're going to spread the shit all over. Does that sound like a good fucking idea? And then I'm tempted, I was tempted to be like, I'll just do it myself. And then I said, no, get the Lysol wipes. Let it soak on top of it for a minute. Scrub it. Then sweep, uh, clean the floor with all the Lysol wipes. Then sweep it, 
Swiffer it and clean it again with the Lysol wipes. Please. Thank you. Please. And as I'm doing things, and he's doing it, and he's very receptive. Julian is not a fresh kid. He doesn't really talk back. Once or twice he did, and um, that never happened again. But so I'm pissed off. I'm like, whatever, and I'm doing the second load of dishes now because I already did the first one. I already put them away. I, now, I could have been like, hey, Julian, can you do the dishes? And he would have said, yes, Mom, and done it. But I was so annoyed that there was no, no one took the initiative to do anything, anything. I made dinner the night before. Everything's still on the table. Are you fucking kidding me? Everything, everything I cleared was gone. Julian clears his plate. Julian helps clear the table. But everything else was left there. And it, so he did everything. I'm done with that, Mom. What else can I help you with? And I'm like, because I was like, you're down here playing video games. Like, and the house is a fucking mess. Have, no one had, like, there's no pride in that. I was going on and on. No pride in the house. No one does anything. I do everything. I'm the only one who knows how to do it. I can't stand this. I can't live, like, it's all coming out of my mouth. Part of me hears my mom. Part of me hears myself saying, shut the fuck up, bitch. Just shut up. Your kid's helping you now, and you're still with this fucking mouth. Shut the fuck up. And I couldn't. I just couldn't couldn't stop. I don't know if anyone else ever gets that. I couldn't fucking stop. It was blah, blah, blah. And then finally I called him into the kitchen as I'm doing these fucking dishes. And I'm like, listen, I'm not sure why, but I can't stop my bitchiness. So I'm going to ask you to remove yourself from me. And until I'm done with the dishes, and then I will remove myself because I can't stop. It's just coming, coming out, coming out. Come upstairs. I sit up here. I did some meditation. I started to do, you know, to balance myself, to ground myself, to question myself. What the fuck is wrong with you, bitch? To just try to level myself down because I was there call him back up and he comes up and I can see in his face he's a little skittish like is this bitch gonna go off again and I apologized to him and I was like you know I'm sorry that I couldn't stop I'm sorry I am human I'm human and in my mantras that's one of the things I've never written that before I'm human I made a mistake I got upset and I need to cool down and verbalize things and talk to you in a better manner. And I'm sorry. And before I'm even finished saying I'm sorry, he's like, I forgive you, Mama. I forgive you. And I'm like, don't forgive me yet. Let me, let me speak on why I'm sorry, why I feel what I did was wrong. And I did. And we talked hugged, probably one of the best hugs I've had in a long time. And I realized that I am raising a super human, beautiful soul. And I always say that I just got lucky. I have to have something to do with that. I have to. I have to believe that I do. And I started writing down my mantras. I am worthy of a clean house. That was my first one after I was still pissed off. I am worthy of help because I don't like to ask for help. Instead of asking for help, I sat there and I fucking bitched about nobody doing anything. Instead of saying, hey, doodle, can you just blah, 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 blah. Instead, I did not ask for help. Instead, I chose my reaction. I chose to lose my shit. I should have asked for help because he would have. My problem was... You see the fucking dishes, just do them. Why do I have to ask you? When you're when I'm cooking or you're looking to get something to eat, you expect there to be a clean dish, do something about it. When you get ready for school and you don't have long pants or the right shirt or whatever, do your fucking laundry. And for the most part, 
for the most part, Julian's pretty, he's pretty good with it. But anyway, and one of the things I wrote down is that I am human. I have feelings. I have failures. I rise up above. I recognize. I regroup. And I move forward. And I forgive myself. Because I had a very hard time with that. And when I was talking to my therapist today, I would, in a heartbeat, forgive anyone else. Why can't I forgive myself? I fucked up. And I know some people will say, you had every right to be mad. You had, and I feel I do. I feel I was justified in being upset. But just because I'm justified in being upset does not justify my actions. And I don't want to be that mom that is screaming mad. And I don't want my kid to grow up to be a man that is fucking oblivious to a thing full of dishes. Whether he lives by himself, whether he has a wife, a husband, whatever, it doesn't matter. I don't want, I don't want that oblivious bullshit because I lived with it for, you know, everybody, everybody has that. Everybody has a moment. There are times I walk past things cause I just can't, do it. but this was not that this was, I just don't see it. It's not there. I don't see the dog shit. I don't smell it. So I lost it. I lost my shit, but that was a choice. That was a choice. So moving forward, I lost my shit. I recognized where I could have done better. I, I acknowledged it to my son. I apologized for it because just cause I'm the adult doesn't mean that I'm not going to fuck up. Doesn't mean that I don't have to apologize because I do, because he is also a human and he is a human that is growing and learning by my example. And I want to be the best example possible. I want him to not have to heal for me as I feel I'm healing from a lot in my childhood, my teenhood and part of my adulthood. Um, everybody has something to heal from and it might be what you're healing from is not as you know drastic as what this person over here is. We're all healing. Um, no matter what it is, no matter, you know, how perfect someone else thinks your life is, fuck them because they don't know. Anyway, I digress. So losing your shit, it happens. Acknowledging it, you must. Forgiving yourself, you have to. And it's okay to ask for forgiveness. And I think that it's important to show your little human that, look, my reaction was not okay. This is why I acted like that. This is what I expect of you next time. This is what I expect of me next time. Because it gives us all a better understanding on how our household should be functioning in the future. So I hope this wasn't too long. I hope it made sense. And I hope you have a great day. And um, I hope you don't lose your shit today because it sucks.